Hello. Welcome to the review to the new Topo Grace film, That 80s Movie. No, it, it's actually titled Take Me Home Tonight. Topo Grace, if you're watching, uh, forgive me, I couldn't resist that one. Uh, roll the credits! Review time! Take Me Home Tonight, which stars Topher Grace as Matt Franklin, a college graduate who is intelligent, but he has he's lazy and he has no real ambition of what he wants to do with his life. Despite being nagged by his policeman father, played by Michael Bean, and his sister Wendy, Matt just has no real direction of where he wants to go. What does he do for a job? He works at the mall in Suncoast Video. Yeah, let's remember this was, This is set in the late 80s. Back in the decade where VHS movies ruled. Long before there was... DVD or Blu-ray. One day while on the job, he sees Tori, played by Teresa Palmer. Who is last seen in I Am Number 4. A girl he had a crush on in high school, but not once... Did he ever have the guts to approach her? While she's coming in, he ducks out, comes back in pretending to be a customer. And he's actually surprised. She remembers him from high school. They have a nice talk. He tells tells her a big lie that he's a big success, <laughs> which we all was which the audience knows he really isn't. And she tells him about Kyle Masterson's party. Will he go? Kyle, played by Chris Pratt, who is the boyfriend of his sister Wendy. So, Matt's wondering should he go or not. Well, this, with help from his friend Barry and his sister Wendy, he gets up enough courage to go. But hopes to look cool, so... So Barry has an idiotic idea, let's steal a car from a used car place. A place where Barry was fired from earlier in the film. <laughs> so you're wondering what's going to come of them next. Will they be a success or not? Will Matt get with Tori? Will any of them find happiness? Well, you're going to have to see the movie to find out. Now, I've heard mixed reviews from two critics, Countdown Gods and TheRandomMind.com. Countdown Gods. TheRandomMind.com. Me. What's my review? As a film, it was funny, but I don't think it was funny enough. It wasn't. A, as relate to some comedies, it's not that bad. I thought it was a little bit funnier than Hall Pass, but not by much. I mean, now I like Tober Grace's performance. He's just his comedic charm is. Just not dismissible, but some of the jokes just come across as annoyingly awkward. I, you just didn't get them. You're just, you're just standing there feeling like a fool, like, and asking yourself, "What was that?" But other times, they were the humor just delivers itself right. And Dan Fogler is good as his best friend. He just kind of steals the movie in, in the amount of scenes he's in. He's basically doing. Something like Jack Black just plays this annoying big guy who just wins over in the end. Or does he? I don't know. And they have a cool dance sequence. And that was pretty fun to watch. 
You're wondering how that's going to turn out, don't you? Well, I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to see the movie to find out. I don't recommend this movie for a younger audience. It's not overly raunchy, but I still wouldn't recommend it. No, it's still raunchy enough. Anna Ferris was good. You know, you can't help but like her, except in Observer Report. I'll, that's one of her worst films. But she's a she's good. And what makes the chemistry between her and Chris Pratt work is that you probably know this already. They're married in real life. And Tober Grace and Teresa Palmer are dating in real life. So that's why the chemistry works between all of them. Um... Like last year's Hot Tub Time Machine, this is an 80s comedy. It pays homage to the 80s. But I thought last year's Hot Tub Time Machine was a little bit funnier. Not that this movie's bad, but it's just not funny enough to get a... I give it a 7 out of 10. Okay, uh, like I said, I don't re recommend this for younger viewers. Okay, enjoy that 80s comedy. I mean, take me home tonight! It's wrong with me! Okay, bye-bye.